In this video, you'll see an update of the near disaster of the 749-foot cruise ship, the Viking Sky, which nearly foundered off the coast of Norway. See how it's over 1,300 passengers and crew were saved, towed into port on March 24th in Mold, Norway. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing, where you'll see the stories that matter to cruising sailors. At approximately 9.40 local time, the Haglin captain, a 300-foot cargo ship that came to assist, lost its power, and its crew had to evacuate the ship as it foundered. They went into the water to facilitate the chopper rescue, and two choppers were diverted from rescuing passengers on the 749-foot Viking Sky to rescue the nine-member crew of the 300-foot cargo ship. Haglund captain. All made it safely ashore to Norway. After losing all its engines on March 23rd and signaling a mayday distress call at 2 p.m., the 749-foot cruise ship Viking Sky, launched in 2017, had to deploy its anchors off a lee shore in 6 to 8 meter waves and gale force conditions. They were able to get one engine working overnight and two additional in the morning. The engine working at night while at anchor helped relieve stress on the anchor chain and may have saved them from hitting the rocks and sinking the ship on the lee shore. The 749-foot cruise ship Viking Sky has four diesel engines and two electrical engines. Its crew and passengers of 1,300 people included 915 passengers, 479 of which were airlifted. Those airlifts seem to prioritize the injured, the more elderly, and infirm. At 10 a.m. Norwegian time, the Viking Sky got underway towards Mold, and they were accompanied by two offshore supply ships and one tug assist vessel. With the end of the evacuation, there were 436 guests and 458 crew on board. Of the 479 passengers who were airlifted from the vessel, 20 of them were being treated for injuries in Norwegian hospitals, according to Viking Ocean Cruises. Wind and seas had eased from gale force conditions to a more manageable 20 to 30 knots, or about 4.7 on the Beaufort scale. This allowed the ocean-going tug and the three smaller tugs to assist in turning the Viking sky in the right direction out to sea and then eventually towards the port of Molde, approximately 10 miles away. It was slow going at first because they had to motor into the seas with the three working engines and the tow. Overnight, passengers awaited in their life jackets at muster stations to evacuate the cruise ship, and many slept at those stations on the floor or wherever they could find space. But as the boat started moving in the morning and afternoon, they were allowed to return to their disheveled cabins and collect their things and take off their life jackets. The danger of losing the ship and much of its people aboard seemed to have passed, and they docked in the calm waters of Molde at 412 local time, according to marinetraffic.com. Here's the official statement from Viking Ocean Cruises. At 4.30 p.m. Norwegian time at March 24th, the Viking Sky docked in Port of Mold. All passengers and crew are safe, and passengers will be flying home starting tonight. Throughout all of this, our first priority was for the safety and well-being of the passengers and our crew. We would like to thank the Norwegian Redning Central and the Norwegian Emergency Services for their support and skill displayed in managing the situation in very challenging weather conditions. We would also like to thank the local residents who, throughout the whole process, have been extremely supportive and hospitable. The next sailing, Scandinavia and the Kiel Canal, which was scheduled to embark on March 27th, has been canceled, and guests and their travel agents have been contacted directly. We do not anticipate any additional cancellations at this time. 
Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing so you can see our round-the-world adventure and rip from the headlines stories of the most interesting cruising sailors in the world. You might like our video where we get hit by a whale. <laughs>